Hey everybody, how's that? The Rules Committee will come to order. So, we are here this morning to further consider S. Con Res 14, H.R. 4, and the Senate Amendment to H.R. 3684. Um, negotiations went on all night and into this morning, and I believe that we've reached kind of a, a way forward here. Um, we are going to self-execute in this rule a resolution from my Massachusetts colleague, uh, Congresswoman Catherine Clark. Um, it's a commitment to have the President's bipartisan infrastructure bill considered in the House no later than September 27th. This approach is fair to those members who want to see that we take uh, up um, uh, take this up and include more certainty um, about floor timing for this bill. Uh, it is fair to those who want to allow the committees to get to work uh, crafting a progressive budget reconciliation bill as quickly as possible. And um, it is fair to all of us who want to see Congress protect the sacred right to vote for all Americans without delay. So um, these negotiations are, are never easy. Um, and. Um, you know, I think it was Hillary Clinton who says it takes a village. Uh, I, I say it takes a therapist. Um, uh, but uh, the therapy session is done. Uh, but it is my hope that my colleagues recognize the fundamental choice before us, uh, whether to advance uh, the president's agenda or to obstruct it. So I don't believe there's a single member of my caucus who wants to see our important work uh, ground to a halt over process. Um, so the substance of our work is incredibly important. I hope that all my colleagues seize this opportunity and advance these historic investments. And with that, I'm happy to yield uh, to the distinguished ranking member for his words of, sage words of advice. Well, and as I told you privately, Mr. Chairman, there was entirely too much good humor and laughter coming out of your office a few minutes ago. So uh, that, that told us all we needed to know on our side that of the aisle. That was Ed Perlmutter. Uh, well, I mean, he, he was a distinctive voice, I will say that, as he always is. But... Um, I do have a question, and then I'll have a comment. Uh, just out of curiosity, is this is, and I'm not questioning by its integrity here, but I just want to know procedurally: is that a binding commitment if we add this that that will happen on the 27th? I, 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 I think it's a. It's a so, I mean, so it's a commitment. It, it, so it's not a binding. But look, and I, again, I'm not questioning anybody's good. I, I doubt well, anybody would arrive at a bargain like this that yeah, didn't believe yeah. both sides. I'm just asking procedurally. Is this an assurance that we will vote on the infrastructure bill no later than September 27th or not? Is it a binding? Yeah, I, I, I guess I would just say that nothing in life is a total guarantee, but this is as close as Spoken you Spoken like a chairman of the Rules yeah, Committee. Right. You can always change the rules. <laughs> uh, and that's, that's a fair point. It's happened on both sides before. Um, well, obviously, uh, uh, we disagree with where we're headed, but I think there is considerable bipartisan support uh, for the infrastructure bill, and so I, I genuinely hope that uh, uh, that uh, that commitment is kept and, uh, you know, accept your words, it would be. I also just want to take one second and, number one, congratulate you, Mr. Chairman, because I know these things uh, don't happen if somebody uh, from this committee hasn't worked hard to bring people together, because um, uh, this is the crucible committee for the majority in many, many ways, and uh, I know you uh, someday, you know, you'll write your memoirs or You'll give an interesting lecture someplace, and you'll tell us how you you uh, uh, pulled this off or the role that you played. This story will you'll be characteristically modest and give all the credit to the speaker, yeah, but I suspect... Yeah, yeah this will be under the, uh, under, in the chapter, Just Shoot Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to I, I want to see it, and, and I want to thank... Uh, you know, yesterday, uh, you know, was a... We had a tough July uh, right at the end, and... Uh, uh, you know, we all know that. I think everybody was stretched and working hard, and tensions were pretty high. Yesterday could have been a very difficult meeting for us. It was a long meeting. It was, you know, obviously strong uh, opinions on both sides, lots of disagreement. And I want to compliment you and Mr. Morelli, who stood in for you during part of the uh, uh, the proceedings. Uh, well, I was, you know, okay, pro mutter too. <laughs> That's true. Uh, but uh, I just want to compliment you for the way you ran the committee, the tone you set, uh, the manner in which the uh, witnesses were treated, and, uh, and all given an opportunity to make their uh, respective points. So uh, to tribute to you and to your colleagues, who I follow your example, uh, that uh, we had a meeting yesterday that could have been very contentious and acrimonious. We did our work. We did our job. 
was done in the right way. And I just, uh, uh, again, want to thank you for that. Thank you for the example you set and the manner in which you lead the committee, even when I disagree with the decisions that you make. Uh, with that, I yield back. Well, thank you, and I, think, I appreciate those words. But let me return the compliment by saying that, um, uh, you know, I mean, despite some of our, our disagreements, um, my, you and, and other Republicans on this panel uh, set the tone. And I, we've said this before, I mean, I wish that, uh, you know, that uh, more of the discussions in other committees and even on the floor, uh, you know, were more like some of the discussions we have in the Rules Committee, um, even when we disagree. Uh, because at some point, um, it's, I, I think, you know, we try to uphold what is best for this institution. But, uh, but I, 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 as you know, I have great admiration for the gentleman from Oklahoma and, um, you know, and I have uh, high regard for his integrity, and, um, and uh, I'm, I, we, I'm grateful that you're my friend. So in any event, at this time, uh, the chair would entertain a motion from the distinguished gentleman from uh, Colorado, Mr. Nagoose, once again. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move the committee grant H.R. 4, the John R. Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act of 2021, a closed rule. The rule provides one hour of debate equally divided and controlled by the chair and ranking minority member of the Committee on the Judiciary or their respective designees. The rule waives all points of order against consideration of the bill. The rule provides that the amendment printed in Part A of the Rules Committee report shall be considered as adopted and the bill as amended shall be considered as read. The rule waives all points of order against provisions in the bill as amended. The rule provides one motion to recommit. The rule provides that the chair of the committee on the judiciary may insert in the congressional record such material as he may deem explanatory of H.R. 4, not later than August 24th, 2021. The rule provides for consideration of the Senate amendment to H.R. 3684, the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. The rule makes in order a motion offered by the chair of the committee on transportation and infrastructure or his designee that the House concur in the Senate amendment to H.R. 3684. The rule waives all points of order against consideration, the Senate amendment, and the motion. The rule provides that the Senate amendment and the motion shall be considered as read. The rule provides one hour of debate on the motion, equally divided and controlled by the chair and ranking minority member of the Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure or their designees. The rule provides that Senate concurrent resolution 14 is hereby adopted. The rule provides that Rule 28 shall not apply with respect to the adoption by the House of a concurrent resolution on the budget for fiscal year 2022. The rule provides that House Resolution 595, as amended by the amendment printed in Part B of the Rules Committee Report, is hereby adopted. The rule provides that H. Res 594 is laid on the table. You've heard the motion from the gentleman from Colorado. Is there any amendment or discussion? Hearing none, the vote is on the motion for the gentleman from Colorado. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. No. You, the, no. Uh, okay. There's time delay. Yeah. Uh, opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. Uh, Mr. Chairman, now we request the roll. The roll call vote has been requested. Clerk will call the roll. Mrs. Torres. Mr. Perlmutter. Aye. Mr. Perlmutter, aye. Mr. Raskin. Aye. Mr. Raskin, aye. Ms. Scanlon. Aye. Ms. Scanlon, aye. Mr. Morelli. Mr. Morelli, aye. Mr. Desaunier. Aye. Mr. Desaunier, aye. Ms. Ross. Aye. Ms. Ross, aye. Mr. Nagoose. Aye. Mr. Nagoose, aye. Mr. Cole. No. Mr. Cole, no. Mr. Burgess. Mr. Reschenthaler. No. Mr. Reschenthaler, no. Mrs. Fishbach. No. Mrs. Fishbach, no. Mr. Chairman. Uh, aye. Mr. Chairman, aye. Uh, clerk, report the total. Eight yeas, three nays. Motion is agreed to, and Mr. Goose will handle it for the Democrats. Uh, Mr. Fishbach will handle it for the Republicans. Can I ask a question? Yes. We, just out of curiosity, can, do you happen to know the schedule for today when the rule comes up and what so, other items we might consider right. today? Just trying so to I think, think the rule's going to be up around noon, right? Okay. Yeah, so right after the bri briefing, the, the, the rule will come up at around noon. Okay. At, yeah. at, at noon. Doing other things? 12 noon. I don't think we're, are we doing it? Yeah, five on each side. So maybe 12, 15. So do we have other things after that? The, the HR4, the, the voting rights bill. Oh, yeah, but, okay, so rule, voting rights bill. Are there going to be, I guess, any suspensions or anything? I'm just trying to get how long the day might be. Yeah. We've made that schedule. Uh, 
yeah, we, we'll, we'll find out. We'll, yeah, we'll find out and get out. to you. But I, I mean, I, I, mean, I had asked somebody who seems to think that, who, who told me around five o'clock or so. Out before five. Out before five. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's so, but, it, but we will. We. Their guys. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we're all gonna. We all want to get out. So yeah. let's, let's see if we can figure this out. But anyway. And, and I think there's a great song that goes see you in September. So I. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bye bye, so long, farewell. <laughs> All right, okay, without objection, the committee is adjourned.